Hi, this is Jerry Hart. Uh, I'm here at the Huntington Crescent Club today, participating in a, in a tremendous event for Clark Gillies Charity, and it's great to be part of Class Act Sports. <laughs> Class Act Sports is here with former NHL hockey player Jerry Hart, a former teammate of Clark's. We're here at Clark Gillies Foundation's golf outing. What does it mean to you to help give back to the community and the kids? Well, when you Clark, he's always been a leader in, with everything he's ever done, and and clearly he's taken the leadership role here in in committing some resources back to the community and to a much needed facility in the Huntington Hospital and the pediatric center that he's created there. So you know we love Clarky for. His, his humor, his humility, his generosity, and being a great family man that he is, uh, it's, it's very easy for us all to be here for, for Clarkie. That's great. Now, you actually uh, were, were playing in the league for many years before Clark came in. You mentioned he's, he was one of the young pups. Talk a little bit about how you mentored him or at least were, were a role model for him as he was coming into the league and coming into his own. Yeah, Clarky may owe his career, his Hall of Fame career, to a guy like Jerry Hart coming in and <laughs> Showing him the ropes here at a young age. No, Clarky. Clarky and I are both from Western Canada. You know, I know where he grew up, and he knows, the, you know, my part of the the woods up in Manitoba. And uh, so when we both ended up in New York and on the Islanders, uh, I, I knew Clarky had the fiber to be a great uh, team guy and a great leader, and and uh, he he didn't disappoint anybody. He just he's a great athlete, and he's good at everything he does. What was that like for you playing for the Islanders, you know, in that Stanley Cup run? Well, actually, um, I'm, I missed that whole thing. If, uh, you know, I, I know it was a long time ago. I was an original Islander and, uh, and missed the whole four-year stint. I, I got traded to Quebec the year they won their first cup. So, but, you know, I went on and played a few more years, played in, in St. Louis and, and uh, had a great career. And uh, I was right there for the, when Bobby Nystrom scored that winning goal. I was in the stands, and I was down in the locker room after, and I had a sip out of the cup, and I felt, <laughs> I felt like I was part of it. Being traded, you know, the year practically of that four-cup Stanley, of that four-year Stanley Cup run, you know, what's that like for you reflecting on it? Did it hurt a little bit more back in the day than it does now? Well, there isn't a hockey player alive that doesn't uh, wish they could have their name on the Stanley Cup. They make no mistake about that. Uh, so that was disappointing. But, you know, as a player and as a professional, you you know, you look forward to your next team and you look at it as an opportunity. And for me, it was an opportunity to go on and play for, you know, some great teams and make more money probably. And, uh, and uh, you know, I ended up having a great career. So, you know... No regrets. Uh, I wish, you know, Bobby and and Clarky and Trotz, who's here today, you know, I just I'm so proud of them for the way they carried themselves through that whole championship uh, stint and, and continue to be great role models today. As I'm sure you have many, what was the highlight of your career, would you say, if you could put into words, you know, one particular highlight? Oh, you know, playing in the NHL is, is the highlight of, of your life. But, you know, I, I mean, I think the... You know, the, the turning point for the Islanders was really in 1975 when we were down three games to nothing to Pittsburgh. Well, we beat the Rangers in a best-of-three series that no, everybody said we didn't uh, stand a chance. And then we came back against Pittsburgh uh, down three games, and and then uh, we did the same thing to Philadelphia and lost in the seventh game in Philadelphia. Um, I think the highlight was scoring the winning goal in the sixth game here at, at the Nassau Coliseum and taking the, the series to seven. Um, you know, that was that was a, a big moment in my life. And uh, I caught the front page of Newsday on that one. You know, so. Hopefully you have that hanging in the office. <laughs> oh, it's it's uh, it's buried somewhere. But um, so, you know, we yeah, I think everybody goes through life. And I mean, certainly didn't have a Hall of Fame career like Trotz and and uh, Clarkey. I mean, uh, I mean, those guys are, you know, uh, so unique and, and such great athletes that just to have had a piece of that is is uh very rewarding and uh and brings back great memories and great smiles hey uh we appreciate your time jerry for here from class act sports wrapping things up what was what was the you know what do you think now as far as the nassau coliseum goes and and getting that deal passed i mean uh, 
how relevant is that to you? You know, to see them get a new stadium and all these things going on, the, the circular, the the trade rumors around the Islanders potentially moving, and there's so much legacy, so much history for this team. What, what goes through your mind? Well, I think it'd be a sorry day for Long Island if the Islanders have to leave, and clearly. You know, looking and, and having the, the opportunity to see other teams around the league, you know, this team cannot function uh, in a fiscal environment here uh, with the present Coliseum and the present lease. I mean, that's a given. And I think it's a sorry day for Long Island that you let a few lame politicians dictate what's good for the community in as a whole. And, um, you know, it's easy for me to sit, you know, up in the stands now and, and you know look at the coliseum as an antiquated building but when you see what other cities that are far less uh, um, populous than than long island and have facilities that are state-of-the-art there's no reason why long island shouldn't have something like that and for the islanders to be able to be competitive again well we appreciate your time here from class exports hopefully they'll get a deal passed soon well you know, Charles deserves it. I mean, he's, he's stuck with the team, and he's been great for the team and great for the community. And, and I hope the people of Long Island recognize that and appreciate it. All right, thank you, Jerry. Appreciate it.